Speaking of the Patriots, oh. we saw a ver- there's a rarity just happen in New England. Like this is like a a comet across the sky in New England. This is what's what else is rare? What what can you say is rare? Other than a Jet Super Bowl appearance. All uh, right, sorry, tough guy. <laughs> I'm talking about just in real life. What's a rarity? Boom. Once in a lifetime. <laughs> this is what's in a lifetime. Teed it up for me. Um, an NFL player through his agent has publicly demanded a trade from the New England Patriots. Nikhil Harry. See you, bro. Has <laughs> his agent has sent out a two-paragraph statement. Wow. Uh, Having informed the Patriots today that I'm formally requesting a trade on behalf of my client and making it public. Huh. As if the Patriots haven't had enough of a headache watching the number of players that were on the board succeed elsewhere. DK Metcalf, AJ Brown. Great. Wow. Bye-bye. How's that going to work? No one's going to miss him, and it's not even going to be a blip on a radar. He's going to be – I'm sure he'll be gone – and, that, and that's that. Uh, really? You're just going to give him what he wants? Yeah. He, there's no spot for him. With, he the, will with the pass catchers that they had gotten free agency, there's no spot for him. So He will continue to work hard to develop and refine his craft. That's what he says. Yeah. I mean, I feel bad for him. He was kind of put in a no-win situation with where he was drafted and how the guys right. behind him have had the success that they've had. After so, mi- he missed a large portion of his rookie year to injury. His yeah. draft expectations for his NFL career have not changed, yeah. says his uh, agent Jamal Tucson. Yeah. Hey, he will continue to work hard to develop and refine his craft, uh, which means, I guess, if go to Wimbledon. Right, TJ? How would that... <laughs> I mean, you don't connect those dots. A, yeah. Do you see who was in Wimbledon this weekend? No, Ben Simmons. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a second. The kill Henry, McKeel Harry, continuing to work hard to develop and refine his craft, which means he'll be watching some tennis across the pond <laughs> with his lady friend. You got right? me there, dude. That's his. That I mean, that's I mean, when a, when a fan base is so upset. You got to leave the country. It's about your optics. Ask it, does that kind of makes him a Jay Cutler of the Sixers? Uh oh. Jay well. Cutler's riding a bicycle, losing an NFC Championship game to the Packers one day, then limping down Rodeo Boulevard with Kristen Cavallari. The later on that week, that's that kind of sends the fan base up, uh, up, up, uh, you know, a, into a tizzy. And here he is. Not I'm not playing in the Olympic Games. I'm going to work hard. Like he could have been in some gymnasium all day long, took all the shots, and then go out and enjoy some tennis. Yeah, I'm sure there's. A well, how do you think? How's that sitting down there in Philadelphia? I personally didn't know. So I'm imagining a lot of people had no idea. <laughs> that he was I don't there. know. I kind of crossed my uh, Twitter feed. Yeah, I, it's kind of everywhere. I didn't see that at all. But good for him. He was definitely working on a shot based on the video I saw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was so confused. Working on a game. That. I mean, he's doing a lot of scoring. Who's he with now? Is it one of those? I don't know. Uh, uh, All I know is, yeah. hey, the score. The score was. Uh, what would you say? What's his number? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Love. <laughs> uh, my, Maya Jamma is his. Uh, oh. Very Very good. And she is a presenter on TV and radio online. He is allowed to do whatever he wants to do. Yeah. He is allowed to do whatever he wants. All all, all I know is that there's such a thing in the world is called optics. Well, and if he wants to stay in Philadelphia, you know, it's like, you know, watch tennis on on, uh, on TV. Well, I think maybe he's going over there because it rains a lot in London, right? Chris? It rains a lot in London. And where else does it rain a lot in America? Uh, the Pacific Northwest, okay. where Portland is. So maybe oh. he's just getting himself acclimated to the new weather. For who? For, For who? Who well, do you want back? Who well, do you want back? There's no team in Seattle. McCollum and there, oh, you want Lillard, right? You want no Lillard team for starters. Well, Why not? I mean, come on. And obvious. McCollum. Get them both. Get the well, ring. I mean, look, now you're getting greedy. You oh, can't I get should. greedy. Okay. okay. I'm the one getting greedy. But all I'm saying is maybe he's I'm getting sorry. used to the weather. I'm getting greedy. Okay. Again, maybe, maybe, you know, a great line from Hoskins. What do you think? <laughs> you're you say you're not greedy, but you still did take you know you still did take Porzingis for Lonzo Ball when I was trading for the other ball. You did accept that. What? I don't know what one has to do with the other. League. That was but, a great line. 
Oh man! Hey, no, hey, I'll talk to you after the show, Hoskins. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe Ben, and this might this might cost me a future interview with him or not. But maybe he was working on his netball shooting. Wow, that's what they play over there, right? In the in the UK, they play a little netball. They play a little netball. I thought he'd want to watch the Wimbledon at his new house with no basketball court. What? He, oh, he's got a new house and there's no he, basketball. He just court. bought a new house out here, and there's three kitchens, two pools, and no basketball hoop at the house. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> Dame time in Philly next year. Let's go. Oh, no way. No that? way. Let's you go. are out of your mind. Well, isn't that what a fan is, Rich? You could be you a little are. fanatical. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.